Welcome, this is Mark from Life Gun Cigar and my previous video I did on a quick review of the SOG Tomahawk and I pretty much like everything on it with one exception and that one exception is going to be the handle. Now the handle is actually a bit smooth. I don't know if you can tell it from the video or not. Uh, lighting is not the greatest on my workbench, at least not for videotaping. Um, I'm hoping to remedy that in the near future. But uh, needless to say, I think it's a bit of a slick surface uh, overall. So what I'm actually doing, so, you know, you can see it just my hand will just pretty much glide right over it. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stippling it to increase the traction. Uh, and the friction on the handle uh, when I go to use it. Now obviously there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, you could actually use a skating tape and put that on there. You could use uh, baseball or golfing type grip tape to increase the traction. Uh, you could use paracord and wrap that on it and then have it tightened down that way and use the paracord, which I like the idea, except at this point I'm not really an expert in wrapping paracord to make it A, look really nice and pretty, and have it not come off in the end. Uh, my issue with the grip tapes is that no matter what kind of grip tape you have, obviously you're going to have an issue as far as the adhesive. Uh, anytime you're using a, a tomahawk or an axe, obviously there's a lot of friction being applied, a lot of leverage being used and I find that the tapes end to curl at the edges and eventually come off or become a sticky mess. Uh, so I personally wouldn't choose that for this. And of course, this is, this is my personal uh, opinion. Any opinion I, I give here, obviously, on my, uh, on my channel is obviously my own opinion. It doesn't mean anybody else is, is wrong, per se. It's just that what I found works best for me. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's get down to work. Now I've actually started the process already on a backup one that I purchased. I purchased a couple of these uh, and gave some away as gifts and such, and this one I've already started on. Uh, so, uh, I hope you can see from the video. I apologize it's not going to be the greatest quality uh, necessarily. Uh, I'm trying to get it in there as close as I can and have you be able to see the grip surface. There we go. That's probably as good as I'm going to get it. And what I've done is basically take in the, the rings, for lack of a better term, and stippled them by using a soldering iron and done that all the way around the rings to increase the traction and if uh, I do say so myself I actually like the the look it gives it, it actually gives it a little bit different look and it definitely increases the amount of traction on it which is all I was really after it increasing uh, any tactical look or uh, looking better is, is a, a nice effect if it happens but it wasn't my desired outcome uh, uh, again, personally, I think it's, it needs to be a tool used, needs to be useful first, and if it looks great, that's fine afterwards. If I'm hanging on a wall uh, and it's just art, it doesn't have to be that functional, but in this case, it's something that I may use, uh, whether it be out camping or whether it be in the prepping units, uh, you know, waiting, getting myself ready for, you know, any kind of natural disaster or such. Obviously, a tomahawk, I think, is uh, extremely useful. Obviously, you can use a tomahawk for digging, cutting, slashing, hacking, uh, and of course, I, I personally uh, think the uh, first and foremost thing to having something like that is obviously having a nice sharp edge and be being able to keep your hand on it. Uh, a tool doesn't do you much good if you can't use it, uh, and that's just again that's my own personal opinion. So, I've actually begun doing it already and stippled it already uh, a bit. Now it does take a bit of time to do such and so that's why I've already started and then decided to make this video. Uh, so as it's not my, this is not my first video but it's close to it, uh, again I'm not probably an expert in this. I'll do my best to try to let you know what's going on and how I'm doing it and uh, I hope you can bear with me. Uh, so uh, 
uh, the question is probably going to be asked, how are you going to stipple it? And the answer is, I'm going to stipple it using a soldering iron. So, uh, I have the soldering iron over here. And it's a 15 to 30 watt model. Uh, and I keep it at 30 watts. I find that that works better for this since I've uh, started messing with it already. And I try to get the tip, I don't know if you can see, uh, as clean as possible. If you do use it for soldering, I obviously clean anything off of that. And then I've actually filed the tip down to about fine a finer point, I don't know if you can see it clearly, as I can. Now it's not so sharp that I'm going to injure myself on it if I accidentally cold uh, tap my finger against it, but it's tight enough of a point and sharp enough of a point that I can do very, very fine stippling with this uh, more easily. Uh, what you're doing is you're heating it up the plastic to make the desi desired effect of the stipple pattern. So, uh, as we're running in on time, I'm going to start stippling it here and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing easily. Sorry, the camera over there. Uh, so, uh, again, bear with me. I don't know how well you'll be able to see on camera uh, what I'm doing, but what I suggest is that you try this at home on a piece of polymer that you're not using anymore uh, before you go out and actually do it on your own tools. Um, it's actually not that hard of a process, and all you're doing is you're going to take the tip and you're going to very very lightly and very quickly I'm going to try to steady my hand here touch it to the plastic now uh, the trick here is to do it as quickly as possible because what I'm trying to do is get a very, very fine pattern uh, as you may have noticed if you look real quick one of the rings is actually a slightly different pattern than the others. That's because when I originally did it, I started on a one of the middle rings. And in doing so, I wanted a really aggressive pattern. So what I did was I pressed down uh, f with a little bit of force and for a little bit of time uh, versus and uh, doing it with the opposite, which is doing it as quickly as possible, as small a ring as possible. And... What I found was that the pattern was a little bit too aggressive in doing so. So what I did was switch to a, a bit of a finer uh, stippling, if you were. Uh, and it's pretty much similar to sandpaper. Uh, so the uh, deeper grip, which I don't know if you could see from here, slightly different pattern, uh, would be probably more, let's, let's say, a 200 grit. And the finer would be more like a 500 grit, let's say. Um, and what I found was that the more aggressive grip I thought was going to be too aggressive uh, for my needs to do the whole handle that way. I didn't want to rip my skin off. I just want to be able to keep a good grip on the tomahawk when I'm using it. Uh, so uh, what I found looks better is basically to just lightly press down uh, with the tool uh, as sharp as I can get it physically without being ridiculous. And in doing so, I make much, much smaller uh, holes, for lack of a better term, I'll call them that. Basically, they look like they're very, very, they pretty much they look like craters. Uh, and the closer together they are, the lighter they are in depth, uh, the more fine the pattern is going to be as far as your stippling pattern is going to be. All right, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that well. Uh, actually, it took me, as you can see, a bit of a minute. Uh, to get even half an inch or so done, but what I've done is make a nice little pattern on that Which will increase the grip uh, substantially uh, so uh, What you do is you go through and through the whole thing that way and in doing so you will greatly increase the traction now that can be done on anything pretty much polymer uh, in nature uh, whether it be a handgun's grip, or it be a tomahawk as this is, or a home tool. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. I know I did. Thank you. Have a good day.